going on? It's your boy Beansy. We are here today with Black Ops Zombies. We are on the voyage of despair. Welcome, welcome Black Ops 4 Zombies to my channel. This is going to be insane. I've been playing a couple of runs. It's really hard to play this game in stacks of four. Um, it's even harder solo when you don't know what you're doing. So today we are going to run through a couple of things and I've got a couple of videos coming out today. Today's video is going to be focusing on how to gain Pack-a-Punch. So we are going to go through step by step of getting a Pack-a-Punch. Simple guide for you guys back at home. If anyone else is struggling on zombies, then here is a nice quick step. Welcome, welcome. Now this guy is insane. Look at this. Boof! <laughs> oh my god. This guy, that guy is insane. He reminds me of freaking Wolverine or something, dude. My god. Look at him in the background. Oh, oh. My lord. This is the thing with zombies nowadays. Zombies has blossomed so much. I love the fact that it's not all about just base survival. There is everything in these zombies now. There is campaign, there's easter eggs, and of course, like old school, you can grind out for the highest wave. Now personally, the way I play zombies is I love, love to do the campaign first. Secondly is all the easter eggs, and then lastly I go for highest rounds. Now the thing that I love about zombies is you have to grind, it's exactly the same as multiplayer. The more you grind with the guns, the better your guns get from standard class, i.e. all your attachments, you know, attachments, uh, scopes, you know, extended mags. You also get to unlock skins as well, just as you can online, and the same applies for zombies. Now, I want to get to the highest level that I can on zombies to make it easier and easier for myself each time and gradually throughout the year that I'll be playing this game I'll be uploading more and more higher waves and I'll be setting myself a nice challenge even a record to see how high I can get Ooh, man he looks like someone off of uh, Assassin's Creed oh <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. You see what I mean? You see the uh, the adaptation of zombies nowadays? Yeah, like, oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is fucked up. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, Shazam! That must be the mystery box! Oh, they better not be that speed. Oh! Oof! <laughs> Alright, Harry Potter. See, you know what I mean? Assassin's Creed. Oh! Oh, man, this cutscene is nuts, guys! This is nuts! I better be that big muscly guy, I tell you that now. I just want to punch everything. You guys, well that is it. That is the beginning intro to Black Ops 4 Zombies. Now when you play multiplayer straight away, you don't actually get to see that cutscene. So that is a mad cutscene. And already, I am surrounded already. But anyways guys, we're going to get started with this video straight away today. Let me just clear this horde out. Yeah, see you later. I freaking love zombies, man. So, we're going to get this started, dudes. We're going to get this started with Pack-A-Punch today. And we are going for it. Let's go for Milk Cake step by step. So, the first step of the game, obviously, is to unlock the artifact at the other end of the boat. And this boat is absolutely huge. So, it's a real tricky map. It's real tricky to get around. You've got to learn your way around the boat. Because it is crazy. The size of this boat, it, it does limit runarounds, like... To run around now on this map is very hard. Like old school zombies, you could run around any map, make a train, and everything would be a-okay. Now normally in the online campaign, online, at the top of here will be an artifact up on here. And you'll notice there's a lot of these orange symbols around the map. Now the orange symbols, 
need to be released by pressing the artifact which is up here which symbols the release of the spirits across the entire map. Oh, let's just get rid of all of these for you. Oh, insta-kill. Yes, please. Much as I try to avoid violence, it will not let me go. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a module here with an orange light above. Now, the thing that we need to do, there is four of these hidden around the map. My guy is going to show you all the four to unlock Pack-a-Punch. Excuse me when I'm talking. And this is how we're going to do it, guys. So you press this one, it unlocks it, and it lights up. Now, there is another hidden three around the map, and I'm going to show each and every one of you where it is. Okay guys, so the second one is down here in this boiler room, and as you can see, we are surrounded by water. Now, water with zombies equals pain in ass, and I will tell you why. When you are underneath the, the water, the zombies can move at the same pace as they do on land, and for us, it's slow, and guns are also weakened. Now, the best way to do this is to swim to the opposite end, and on the side of the wall be a drain pipe. Now the best thing to do is drain the water so all speed and momentum goes back to how it is as if you are on land. Makes it easier to travel around. Now from releasing the water you will see, let's dive down. You will see underneath this sh gateway is another pack-a-punch light. Now from that we need to press that and as you can see another one lights up which leaves two remaining. See, now from the last one, you can teleport once it's unlocked to the other side of the map. Now with this one, same again, it is right here. We're going to press that one. That will be the third one, which lights up. Now, you can also drain this room. I highly recommend that we drain this room. The pipe is right next to the Pack-a-Punch. So let's get this water out of the way. Let's get rid of these zombies as well, and we can move on to the next one. Now the last Pack-a-Punch symbol in which we need to get is on the Grand Staircase. I need to run all the way to the bottom and here it is guys. It is as easy as that. There's four points across the map. My video shows you and here we go. The transformation. Now when you use Pack-a-Punch it transports around the map at every single time. And here we go guys. Here is Pack-a-Punch right in front of us today. Let's get this gun Pack-a-Punch. You can see what they turn out like. Boom. Red friend ball. Nice. Now that was a, a nice short tutorial of how to get the Pack-a-Punch unlocked on Voyage of Despair. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll be back with another video once I discovered some more. Now I'm going to just enjoy this zombie grind and keep on going. If you guys want any more tips or tricks or strategies or things that you're struggling with on zombies, please let me know in the comments section and I'll try and help you out as much as I can. As for today, this being your boy Beansy, you guys take it easy. I am out of here because I'm being chased. Ah!